Better shake your booties for black girl nerves. Better shake your booties for black girl nerves. Kari, thank you for your time. I'm very excited to talk about this new project with you today. Thank you so much. Excellent. Yes, I'm thrilled. With Before we talk about the, the show itself, I'm curious, when you guys are creating the different the different things that are feeding into the other Marvel movies, we just finished, finished with WandaVision, and now we're into Falcon and a Winter Soldier. As you're all operating on your own kind of planet's putting your stories, bringing your stories to life. How much are you aware of what's going on in the other universes that will feed into ultimately our main motion pictures? Uh, not at all. <laughs> we have no information. So uh, no, we're completely, each, each um, series uh, or movie, I guess, is its own unique thing. And um, we're not informed by anything else going on, uh, you know, in the, in the grander picture. Mm -hmm. Is it better that way uh, outside of the secrecy of working for Marvel, but is it better that way? You don't have to think about how is this going to play out with the other universes and what they'll ultimately collide with? No, I, I think um, we don't, you know, if, if someone is thinking about that, which I'm sure they must be, I guess, um, they're taking care of that. Um, but really uh, each one is so unique and so individual in how it, um, whatever story it's telling, I don't know that it collides that much, um, you know, or, or, or uh, so, yeah, I, I feel like uh, we were able to tell our story the way we tell it with kind of no barriers. Mm -hmm. I, what I, we've had the, the privilege of seeing a little bit of it before the audience sees it very, very soon. And, now we're seeing another perspective of what has happened after the end game. And you have these two friends of a friend who are now on this journey together. Just broadly, what will their journey be like with each other? Since although it's not the same when you know someone and you really have to journey with them is two very different things. Well, you know, I think they're kind of grumpy, you know, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's definitely uh, you know, they, I don't know that they, they, first of all, they're not really friends. They are, uh, they know each other, obviously, mm -hmm. and they had common experience. So um, that's, uh, and they have a common friend that they've lost. So there is that kind of a sense. And the other thing I guess that they have is two very different perspectives of the shield. Mm -hmm. So the shield, you know, Sam was given the shield and he says, it doesn't feel like mine. And then he has to decide as a black man, what is it to pick up that shield? What is it for the black community? What is it for the white community? You know, it's a racial conversation for sure. And, um, and does he want to? Because um, there's a lot of bad that comes with carrying that shield. Um, and Bucky has his, his um, ideas as well. Uh, so they have to work out what, what that is. And we have to go on the journey as they are also on a, on a form of a mission they, you know, they have some pretty intense discussions about uh, the future of, of um, you know, Sam's decision. Absolutely. With, uh, with Sam and Bucky's experiences have, have been very different in what led them to this point. Bucky has his past issues and things that he's done. With Falcon, with Sam, it's never really been so gray with him about where he lies in the scale of good and bad. From that perspective of, of digging deep into his story and his history, what types of issues will he explore that you can divulge? Is it mostly about their relationship, uh, about the shield, the, uh, obviously about the shield, or what's their journey going to be like together over the course of these episodes? Well, um, you know, Sam is grappling with uh, personal, on his personal side, he has uh, a family situation that is um, very, very tricky. And, uh, you know, he's uh, on, on the verge of uh, losing or his life changing in a way that uh, maybe he can help, maybe he can't. He has a sister who, um, you know, who really uh, survived through the blip. And he's come back um, to a new world. And so I think he feels uh, out of step with that world. And he's having to discover what it is we have you know the, the borders have changed 
people want to change them back. Um, you know, because when when people blipped out, um, every you know, there was much like the pandemic. Actually, you know, people had to cooperate differently. There was common sense of loss. You know, um, there was a sort of a universal experience on the planet. You know, if half of it disappeared, and then half of it came back, and like you know, like a freight train hit everybody. Uh, you know, it, 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 shockingly, um, and lives changed. And so, you know, he's trying to figure out what that is. And that's the same for Bucky. And Bucky's life is, um, I think, very much on, uh, he, he's trying to figure out how to fit, not only, you know, but with his history. How does he go forward carrying the baggage of some of the heinous things that he's done? Um, and, you know, so that he's dealing with guilt and he's dealing with consequences. Both of them, I guess, to some degree are, are dealing with consequences. Mm -hmm. um, and I think Sam is really both. So uniquely, they are they are actually two sides of the same coin, um, and they kind of need each other because of the common experience that they have. They're the only two people on the planet that really know each other, even though they don't necessarily like each other. I mean, they have no reason to like each other particularly, mm -hmm. and they so they they have to find um, how to be friends. Mm -hmm. With that, with uh, finding to be friends, I think about the times where you're thrust into a situation, maybe you have a mute, like a birthday party, and you're showing up for the birthday girl and the birthday person has all these other friends that you don't know, but they have equally as important a, a relationship and how they're going to interact. What would you say are the biggest differences between, between Falcon and between Bucky and that will make this for an interesting pairing? Well, Bucky comes to, um, comes to the relationship, uh, you know, very flawed and unpredictable. And he's not sure, uh, you know, he, he still could pop off, right? We don't know how, how healed he is or isn't. So um, there's this kind of constant concern that he is, uh, you know, going to come apart on us. And do something um, that is that is uh, that he's going to regret, or or together they will regret. Um, so I think uh, Sam, by contrast, has uh, and Bucky has no family. His family has passed because he's 108. You know, so so he's really looking for relevance. Uh, not to mention, um, I think, looking for love. He's looking for you know for somebody to. Um, uh, whether it be um, a girlfriend or a, or a family, he's really looking for family. Mm -hmm. Sam has a family, you know, and but has he supported that family in a way, you know, emotionally supported? Has he been there for them when he needs when they need him? And between the blip and the fact that he um, has, you know, had to go off and and do amazing things, you know, um, there there he's he's navigating the planet on two levels, one on the world saving level and then family saving level. So, um, you know, the, the sort of the macro and the micro. Uh, so the two of them, I think come at, they, they kind of need the same thing. They need a sense of family and they need um, some friendship and camaraderie, um, but they don't know how to, how to be vulnerable enough to, to be open to it. And so it's a real, it's a really uh, heartfelt journey of two men who, who, you know, find a friendship. Absolutely. Well, thank you. I'm looking forward to seeing everybody whipping themselves in a frenzy with these Easter eggs. Thank you for your time. And I hope I get to speak to you again during the course of the series. Oh, that would be great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take care. Black Girl Nerds.